Welcome to Cadence Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we're going to walk you through the installation of the Fidelity Point One software in a Linux system. The first thing that you're going to have to do is go to downloads.cadence.com and download the latest hotfix for the Fidelity Point One software package. Please keep in mind that the number that you see in here is the version number. This version number is going to change as we make more releases available. If you need more information about the Cadence Downloads page, please check the link added to the description. Once you actually go to the Cadence Downloads page and you select the appropriate software package to download, you can see right here, Fidelity Pointwise. And of course, you select the appropriate operating system. Your downloads page is going to look something like this. As mentioned before, we're interested in the latest hotfix. And this right here is going to be the link that you use to download the installer. All right, I have in front of you a Linux system. My command prompt, as you can see, I have the latest Fidelity Pointwise hotfix already downloaded in there. And this is, has been downloaded as a tar file. So there are two elements that you're going to have available right now. And that is, first off, you need to have the Cadence License Manager with the Fidelity Point Wise feature up and running. If you need more information about the Cadence License Manager, also please check the video that has been linked in the description. The second element is you need to ensure that the CDS underscore LIC underscore file environment variable has been set up correctly in your system. Once you have those two elements already completed and up and running, the next thing that you have to do is, of course, extract that file. And we're going to do that using the tar command with the Z, X, V, F arguments. And then, of course, the name of the hotfix that we want to extract. Click Enter, and the file is going to be extracted. The file is extracted in just a few minutes, and you can actually see that you have a new file in there that is called pw and then the appropriate version number. So what we're going to do right now is to use the sh command together with the argument of that pw file to actually launch the installer. You can here use the sh command. You can also use the bash command as well. So let's go ahead and do that and hit the enter key. And you're going to see that a GUI window is going to pop up. And it's going to allow you to progress with your installation of the Fidelity Point Y software. So from here on, this is your welcome screen. And you're going to click Next. I have the right to use license in here. I recommend that you take a look at the right to use license. And once you're done, you can click on the I accept the RTULA. Click Next. Of course, right here, PointWise is going to give you an option to select where you would like to actually install the software package. Click Next, and uh, the installation is going to proceed. Once the installation has been completed, you can actually uh, see that you're going to be presented with this window right here where you have a checkbox to just go ahead and run Fidelity Pointwise and finish your installation. Again, at this point, assume that you have the Cadence License Manager with the Fidelity Pointwise feature up and running, and you also have the CDS underscore LIC underscore file environment variable correctly set up in your system. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish, and the Fidelity Pointwise software package is going to go ahead and launch. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.